we are. There's a whole bunch of people out there who have these struggles who don't feel like the normal, right. what we call relationship escalator works for them. They're building a business and they're like, wait, and I'm also supposed to find the love of my life and I'm supposed to have 2.5 kids and I'm going to, supposed to live in the suburbs. That sounds terrible to me. Mm-hmm. And no offense to, to folks who do that. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I just think it's over prescribed. Yeah. I, I, I was, I was just, I was talking with my, uh, my therapist like uh, a week ago started, I started therapy this year. Um, Cause I'm in. Congratulations. For, That's great. I mean, it was, it's just ridiculous. They, they don't, if you have a therapist, they can't even virtually, they can't attend. If you're on the road, um, if you're on the road, they can't, um, they can't, uh, give you therapy. You know, if, if you're in Ohio, you can't get therapy from someone that has a Wisconsin license it's bonkers. Or, or whatever. And, and, and so anyway, so, um, the, but they, they were, I was talking about my, all of the like female friends that I had, like mm-hmm. the platonic female friends that, that. I mean, and I had them too when I was in relationships. It was just this weird thing of like, got to deal with jealousy issues and stuff like that. And yeah. and I was just talking about how how satisfying um, it was to have. It was like scratching a lot of itches. Mm-hmm. And he was like, "This is nothing groundbreaking," but he he was like, "Well, yeah, it's it's you you m- most people." you know, a guy or a lady or a guy will be like, I need to find a woman who's like this person. That's like going to be my best friend and my roommate Mm -hmm. and my, uh, and my like partner and, uh, and I have sex with them and like all of the things. And it's just all of the things is such a ridiculous. And I think, I think the reason why this is uh, taking off for you now, I mean, first it, it was a good project when you started and you were, and you were new before the pandemic, maybe it'd be doing even better right now. But I mean, it's, it's funny that a solo that, that could be confused for, I, I'm sure when some people first click on it, they might confuse it for like a dating thing or something. Like they that. might. Yeah, yeah. They quickly find out it's not about dating right, and right. relationships per se. Yeah. But to do, to have something in that realm ish during a pandemic <laughs> do well, I think it's because like we said earlier, this is like this big reset and everyone's reassessing mm-hmm. things and this might be the real chance to get rid of the overly prescribed leave it to beaver right. lifestyle, which was never a thing. It was a thing that was Sorry. made up this for, long uh, yes. for television. It, it, it wasn't even that then. It was this fake produced while they were still awkwardly figuring out how TV went, mm-hmm. you know? <laughs> and it was like this caricature of all... And God, the damage. I think that that's done so many people in in raise in this weird bar, this weird expectation that mm-hmm. people are supposed to have. And I think that it's, you know, obviously you'll be the first one to say, go and have, go and pursue the leave it to beaver thing. If, 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 it's if right that's what you're you. after, yeah. you'll find someone out there that's also after the leave it to beaver that's thing. Right. But for the many of us who don't want to subscribe to that, uh, this is, this is a great, um, I'll give you an example. This is, you've alluded to this in your conversation just now is when it comes to a, what we call the relationship escalator, this commonly accepted relationship that's given special status, you know, exactly what it looks like, you know, dating, define the relationship, sex, marriage, kids, happily ever after, or at least ever after is that jealousy is uh, is not a bug. It's a feature mm-hmm. of the relationship. Jealousy is important to the relationship because what it does is it gets people to behave in a particular kind of way. Mm-hmm. I, w- I should not have this. I should not go on hikes with my attractive female friend, even mm-hmm. though she can help me talk through these issues, or even though my partner's not good at doing it. Ex- my partner doesn't like hiking. I'm supposed mm-hmm. to forego hiking or hike 
with my guy friends, but not, you know, like, and, and so in many ways you just miss out on life because you're trying to avoid jealousy. Yeah. And so now if, what if you took a relationship, whatever that may be, and you turned it and made it anti-jealous and now the people in my life, I'm happy when I'm not able to meet their need and they're able to find it from someone else because they're being elevated as a result of that. That's a radical notion, but that is fundamental to me to solo living, for, for example.